Good afternoon folks, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2018 on an 18 plate. This is the legend that is the Ford Transit Custom. This is the 2 litre TDCI 130 brake horsepower Euro 6 Limited version. So Euro 6 obviously means if you're going into any of the emission zones, there's no charge to pay. So that's a Brucey bonus, isn't it? Uh, and then Limited obviously is their top of the range specification. So really nice specification on these vans. Now to one keeper from new vehicle, it has covered a warranted 50,000 miles from new. It's in pretty good overall condition. There's still a couple of jobs for us to do on it. I'll try and point them out to you as we go around. Now the purpose of our video is to give you a warts and all video walk around of this van. So you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. The vast majority of our customers do actually purchase the vans having watched these videos leave a 500 quid deposit and come and collect or leave a deposit and get a quote for delivery so there's a couple of different options you've got there for you so let's get going shall we now it's come in without any form of roof rack on it have a look up there on the roof you've got a better view of it than i have but that's looking pretty straight and tidy from what i can see and then coming down onto your windscreen the windscreen is in good all-round condition we have a heated quick clear windscreen on the front of this one being a limited specification. Uh, no major stone chips or cracks to worry about. And then coming down onto your bonnet, the bonnet is in good overall condition. Again, no major stone chips to point out to you. You're always gonna get the minute eye ones, but nothing major. Coming down to the front of the vehicle, your front grills, front of the front bumper, you can see those are all in good condition with no damage. Around to your passenger side headlamp unit, that's in good order as well. There are obviously automatic uh, headlamp units on these with the LED, uh, LED daytime running light on them. Um, and yeah, nice bits of kit. And then coming down to your passenger side front bumper corner, overall good condition. There's a couple of minor marks I'm gonna point out to you. Firstly, have a look at your fog light. That's in good order, no damage to that. We have a little mark here, okay? And we have a little mark just down there as well. So a couple of minor marks, nothing major, but they are there, so we'll point them out to you. Looking down the side profile of the vehicle on the passenger side, a couple of things to notice. Now, we're running so far behind, this one has actually been into our local detailers. So it's got a lovely polished mirror finish to that paintwork. You can see the nice reflection in the side of the van, can't you? No major dents or dings to point out as we look down the side of the van. Um, so all very pretty straight and tidy down there. Round to the driver's side, your driver's side headlamp unit, that's all in good order. Driver's side front fog light unit, that's all in good order driver's side front bumper corner all in good order as well and again have a look down the driver's side profile of the vehicle you can see a nice reflection down the paintwork as well now there is a couple of minor little dings on the driver's door i'm going to point those out to you when we get around there and then you can see what they are we will get the dent man in on the van to just to get those looked at driver's side front wing that's all in good order driver's side front Alloy wheel is in good condition. Couple of minor marks on there, but nothing major. What tire have we got on there? We've got a, I uh, can't see. I think it's a budget tire on there. Tire tread depth is as you can see there. Where we are with tire tread depth, anything less than three millimeters we replace, the legal limit being 1.6. Mirror unit, mirror cover, integrated indicator, and your upper and lower mirrors are in good condition. Driver's side door glass is in good condition. Driver's side door itself, let's just give you an overview of it. Now there's a couple of dings on here that I said I'd point out to you. So we have a couple of dings around the lock here. So one really minor one there, barely noticeable. A couple there and we've got one down here, okay? None of them have broken the paint. They are quite minor. Um, we will get the dent man on them, see what we can do, okay, to get rid of them. A little bit of scratching behind the door handle. We'll see if we can get some teacup and polish on that for you. Um, driver's door locks in good condition. Have a look at your door edges as I bring the camera down. You can see that these are also in overall good condition with no major damage to them. Getting down low, check out your lower sills. You've got front mud flaps as well as your rear mud flaps. Your lower sills are in good, clean, tidy condition as well. No damage to them. And then the massive rear quarter panel on this side. No damage to that, all looking very straight and tidy. And whilst I'm back here, I might as well just give you an overview of the side of the van so you can see she looks very respectable, doesn't she? Right, driver's side, rear alloy wheel. Again, overall good condition. 
We've got a little bit of side wall tire wear there. That's just from rubbing up against curbs when you're trying to park it. It's a continental tire. That tire has that element of tire tread depth on there for you. So loads of tire tread depth on there. Just a little bit of wear on the side wall of the tire. Looking down the side profile on the driver's side from this angle, just giving you another view of the side profile of the vehicle, all looking neat and tidy. Rear light units on this side, that's all looking good. Rear bumper corner this side, overall good condition as well. And then around to the back of the vehicle, we have 50-50 split on the barn door. Uh, all looking neat and tidy. So your upper brake lights are looking good. Coming down your door edges, those are also in good condition with no major damage. Again, door handles all good. Again, a little bit of scratchy marks behind the door handle. We'll get those looked at. Now, the rear bumper, there is some wear and tear on the back of the rear bumper. There's your rear reflectors. If I bring it along, you can see your factory parking sensors, but you can see this various scratches and chips at the back of the rear bumper, okay? Nothing major, but they are there, okay? Should they be on there for a vehicle of this age? And Miles, I think you probably would expect it to be fair, but um, speak to us. You know, if that's, if that's uh, winding you up, then give us a shout. Bulkhead, as you can see, a couple of minor dings on the bulkhead. Nothing major. It's not completely twatted to pieces. Um, you do have the uh, left-hand side. You have your loading hatch, which will give you additional length underneath your passenger seat. Uh, have a look at your roof. Roof is in overall good condition. Ply lined in the back. As you can see, the ply lining has done a job, but it's all in pretty good condition there's loads of life left in that we have the um, standard custom uh, plastic plastic flooring i know people don't like the way i pronounce plastic there you go plastic flooring um i don't know i get people comment on about how i pronounce plastic yes i know welcome to the world of youtube um anyway there's your metal work in the back few minor marks this side in actual fact it's a lot of that will clean off to be fair inside your rear doors again minor bits of wear and tear but nothing major they're not completely battered to death so overall pretty good um rear door hinges could do with a uh wd-40 it's a really common issue on the custom so we're well versed in those so we'll get those sorted out on it for you Rear light unit this side, that's all in good order. Rear bumper corner this side, that's in good order with no scuffs. Looking down the side profile of the vehicle on the passenger side, again, really neat and tidy. Upper quarter this side, that's all looking good. Lower quarter and arch this side, that's all looking good. We have a little mark on your alloy wheel there, um, but overall not too bad. We've got a budget tire there. That tire has loads of tire tread depth, as you can see there. Mud flaps on the back of this one as well. Sliding door, that's in overall good condition as well. Getting down low, check out your lower sills. There's no damage on those. What we do have, I'll point it out to you in a second. Let's get the sliding door bit done first. Sliding door opens, slides back, holds into place nicely. There's your door shuts. Those are in clean, tidy condition, as are your entry sills and plastics. There's another viewpoint of the bulkhead and just another viewpoint of the back of the van from your sliding door area. You can see nice and tidy, isn't she? And then passenger door. Passenger door glass is all good. Mirror unit integrated indicator and upper and lower mirrors are in good condition. Door handles all good. We do have, just noticed it, a really minor little mark there in the paintwork, okay? Very minor indeed. Now, we do have this is currently loose, okay? There are clips um, which need replacing, so we will order those up from Ford. Really common, these things disappear. I don't know why, but I don't know how people break them in the first place, but they do. I think they grab it thinking it's the fuel filler because there is your fuel filler and your blue filler there. Try and wrench it open. Yeah, bing, bang, bosh, breaks. Passenger door, that's all looking good. Passenger side front wing, that's all looking good. Passenger side front alloy wheel has some minor scuff marks on there the wheel the tire itself is a budget tire and that tire has plenty of tire tread depth as you can see there um so back into the inside of the vehicle passenger side your passenger side door card is in good overall clean and tidy condition entry sills and plastics are in nice condition the flooring inside as you can see also in nice tidy condition 
There's your bonnet release. We'll open that so you can have a look. Vents are in good order. Cup holders here, cup holders here. We have storage on top of your dashboard, as you can see. Your interior headlining is also in clean and tidy condition. If I remove the big camera off the seat, you can see that your passenger seat trim is also clean and tidy as well. Um, now, underneath the bonnet, we'll have a quick gander under there. So, Apple.com should be able to answer that question. All right, Siri, there's no need to use button. Right, so telephone's gone off, cut off the video, but now uh, we'll patch it all together. It won't make a Steven Spielberg movie, but you'll get the idea. Um, do 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 coolant, correct colour coolant for Ford, no contamination in there. There's your fuse box, your air box is right on top of the engine there. Don't worry about that creamy stuff there. That is what our Valitas spray on the engine to make it look all nice and shiny, so that will just naturally evaporate. Uh, windscreen wash, brake fluid, power steering fluid, dipstick is down there as well. Have a look under here, you can see all looking pretty neat and tidy, isn't it? And then driver's side. So, driver's side door card, again, neat and tidy. No excessive wear or tear. Central locking there, electric folding mirrors, electric windows, your door shuts are clean and tidy your entry seals and plastics again are clean and tidy flooring inside look at that no big hole amazing clutch brake and rubber uh, all the pedal rubbers are all good the seat trim and your side of your seat etc is all in good order as well this handle here does your seat height adjustment we have auto lights we have front fog lights rear fog lights dashboard illumination up and down um, your uh, vents are good, cup holders here. We have USB power here and a 12 volt power there as well. And then let's just get this bad boy fired up. Okay, so systems check. So just got a message on there at the moment telling me that we have 1,461 miles of add blue left in it. So obviously we'll get that topped up for you before it goes out the door. That is also what this little message is on the dashboard there, okay? 50,164 miles. We have cruise control with speed limiter. This is all for your onboard computer system. Uh, you've got a bit of voice activation going on there and obviously your telephone button controls, horns on your steering wheel, a nice thick leather steering wheel there for you. Got a good girth to it, that's good girth. Um, yeah, that's all looking good. Vents inside, dashboard vents all looking good. We've got this pretty cool touchscreen system, all right? Uh, you've got DAB, FM and AM, you've got Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. You have also, obviously, various different settings, but you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as loads of other different things that you can play around with, okay? Um, climate control is here, or air conditioning, I should say. So air con, heated front screen, driver and passenger heated seats, blower fans, how cold you want the air to be. Another 12 volt power there as well, and a six speed manual gearbox with first gear to the left and forward, and that activates your park distance display. Just a little bit of minor wear to the leather on your gear knob, but not too bad. And then have a look in between your seats, how clean and tidy is that? There's no old McDonald's down there, or dust and all that sort of stuff. Oh, oh hang on a second, the sunglasses holder. Yes, it's what we all need in our lives. Interior mirror there, lads, you can put your lippy on from that one. Interior lights, top of the dashboard, loads of storage, etc. It's all a pucker vehicle. Um, and there we go. Okay, now there's 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Now, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. We're on all of those. Okay, check us out. Always do your homework properly. Um, and there we go. Um, if you want to be kept up to date with all of our latest purchases, then please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, folks. Like and subscribe. Uh, there we go. Thanks very much. About 15 minutes of your life you have wasted there. But if you are interested in buying this van, saves you a load of time coming to look at it and gives you an honest description of what she's like. Cheers, folks. See you later. Bye.